Hey everybody, here's a quick tech tip from StreamyTeacher.com, sectioning in Mastercam. Uh, Mastercam uses a view for defining section planes, which is a great tool for visualization for parts with internal features. And to set that up, if you go to your planes manager and you'll see a feature right here at the top, and that's your section tool and what it is that you're actually sectioning through. So you can section stock models, shaded entities, wireframe entities, tool paths, and then show caps actually caps off the section. And so I'll demonstrate that here in a minute. Okay, so if you have a view in mind that you'd like to section through, if you look at your planes panel, you'll see that there's a column for section. And if you check that, that will section through that particular plane. So this allows you to see internal features. It's quite a handy tool. Uh, and then you have the ability to section through multiple planes at the same time also. So you can move through your planes and pick more than one and section uh, with multiple sections. Uh, I was going to show the cap feature. So with caps off, you can actually see down inside the solid model. In this case, it's a solid. Uh, this does have the ability to section surfaces in wireframe as well. So we'll leave that show caps enabled. So if you want to make a view uh, to section through a specific view, you can come down to your uh, dynamic planes, select that, snap to a particular face, and then you can come up here and we'll just call this section one. And then down here you can uncheck everything except for section and then you'll get a section view right at that particular plane. This is active at this time and is dynamic so you have the ability to edit the plane on the fly and move uh, the actual section plane uh, along an axis. You can even rotate it. Uh, you can redefine it by just moving its location, uh, really changing anything about it that you might like. Uh, so once you've defined the section that you want, you can hit OK. You'll see what it does is it creates a new plane with the name of the section view that you created. And the section column here has the X in it, which means that's active at that moment. So you can just toggle that off and on as needed. Also, I'd like to point out that you can create these sections um, and store these on a view sheet. So in this example, I'm using the view sheets to toggle between section on and section off using the same uh, graphics view. And all that's doing, if, if you notice here on the top plane, is that's just toggling the section on or off because view sheets now have the ability to control your section views, section planes and section view settings. So it's real handy. You can store that on a button. You don't have to be on your planes manager to toggle those uh, on or off. And you can have as many different section views as you'd like there. Also, you have sectioning in the uh, Mastercam simulator. So when we come to run this up into tool paths uh, for verification or simulation, you'll see that you also have under the verify tab, you have plane uh, XY plane clipping or different modes of clipping, they call it here, essentially the same thing. And so you can see that we can section through and verify and have that, uh, have that running as well. So handy tools within Mastercam for sectioning and getting uh, to be able to view internal features of parts quickly and easily. And uh, hopefully that uh, is a tip that will be beneficial to you. And uh, if you enjoyed this, please uh, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.